COVID-19 is a global pandemic. So far, we have uh, more than 20 million people suffer from the disease, 200,000 people dead. So now the whole humanity is in the battle with this disease. So what we really need is not just a vaccine. It's not just a, a diagnosed message. What we really need is a unified force to have a human being working as a whole to join force to fight this uh, crisis. So here, the people to people communication, dialogue, government to government, country to country, join force is a play a fundamental role for winning this battle. So there's a lot of things we need to do. One of the big things is overcome the actual cultural barrier, to bridge the cultural gap, to mutually understand the different culture. So as a, a liberal art university, HKBU feel it's a responsibility to lead this discussion, to really urge to actually help the whole world to communicate well, to have a joint force in this crucial battle for the human being. This is really our duty as a liberal art university. I'm Meta Yord. I'm here at Hong Kong Baptist University. I'm the Dean of Arts and I'm one of the organizers of COVID-19 Culturally Speaking. And I'm John Ernie. I'm the head of Department of Humanities and Creative Writing. I'm the co-organizer. So why Hong Kong? Hong Kong found itself contending with COVID-19 well ahead of a number of other places in the world. And as we sought to um, deal with this new crisis, we realized that there was a tremendous need for a global conversation about COVID-19. Hong Kong has often been described and indeed prides itself on being a place where the East meets the West. If there ever was a time when we needed the East to meet the West, it is surely now during this crisis. At this conference, we focus on the humanistic perspectives of the pandemic. Because as you know by now, there are far less controversy on the scientific front, where people just need to come up with vaccines and pharmaceuticals. Of course, very important task. But there's a cultural war going on out there about diverse and sometimes conflicting ideas about identities and communities and mask wearing and governance and all of that. So we believe this is where we're going to make a very unique contribution through this conference. Indeed, the focus is on culture in this conference. We can think about culture along perhaps three dimensions. During the outbreak, culture either facilitated or impeded the transmission of COVID-19. This much is clear. And then during the actual crisis itself, cultural practices, the cultural sector uh, provided solace. It was in music, in online streaming, for example, that we sought comfort from the psychological implications of COVID-19. We are of course also interested in what the post-pandemic world is going to look like. Here too, cultural articulations are going to be incredibly important. It is through culture that we will be able to imagine a post-pandemic world that we would actually like to inhabit. So who will be speaking? We're very fortunate to have invited over 30 speakers internationally to join our conference. They will be from North America, from Europe, Australia, Asia, and Africa. There will be philosophers, epidemiologists, medical humanities scholars, scholars in cultural studies, in film studies, and also scholars and practitioners from the art and design field. The organizers in HKBU and all our staff spend great efforts to prepare this conference. We are grateful for all the excellent speakers to support this conference. We are also very grateful to the whole community who actually put a lot of trust to us to organize this conference. We hope in the next few days, we have a very exciting dialogue about the culture, about how to bridge the culture gap when we're actually fighting for the coronavirus. And I, you know, we are not the United Nations, and we are the university. What we can do, however, is really to take this conference a starting point to generate the, 
awareness of the importance of cultural aspects in this crucial battle of human being. Right? We will create the research field in the academic world, but we also want to create a dialogue point for our people, for our governments, for the countries, can talk, can dialogue, can join force to form a community. Culture is our human being's way of survival. We have to pay a great attention to it and then make the culture being a unified force for our whole humanity to winning this crucial battle with pandemic. COVID-19, culturally speaking, will take place around the clock. Participants will be joining us from their respective time zones. Please do share the information. Please do join us. We're really hoping for a global conversation. The conference will be on Zoom and YouTube, so please do register. We'll see you on September 15 and 16. Meanwhile, everybody stay safe and healthy.